another excellent gift in nature for any crisis that has to do with bleeding or heart, blood, anything like that is cayenne. Cayenne equalizes blood pressure in the body, which for internal bleeding or any type of uh, heart attack, um, stroke, anything that has to do with blood, dizziness, anything like this. Um, where the circulation is not happening well, where there's numbness coming on, anything like that, cayenne is the first thing you want to grab and use. It will blast through the blockage, move the blood, it equalizes blood pressure, which will move the pressure away from the hole where blood is bleeding from and allow the body to coagulate and stop the bleeding. Topically, you can pour it right in a wound on the outside of the body, apply pressure, and usually within just less than 15 seconds, the bleeding will have completely stopped coming out of that wound. Uh, it is an excellent first aid for anything to do with bleeding. It does not heat up on the outside of the body. When applied topically, it will not heat up when you take it internally, of course, cayenne is hot. But applied topically, it will not heat on the outside of the body. If you have to use it vaginally or rectally, you're going to be dancing a war dance. Um, but it will stop the bleeding and stop the hemorrhaging. So it, it's a lifesaver, um, but you don't want to use it that way unless you absolutely have to. When you have, when you are dressing an injury, uh, a slice, a cut, whatever, after you have applied cayenne to stop the bleeding, use a cloth bandage. If the wound cannot breathe, it will heat. You will feel the heat from the cayenne. So the cloth bandages that they have now work great. Um, you just don't want a plastic bandage over it. You want a cloth bandage. So they have the band-aids that are cloth now use those and um, that will just protect it so that it will not catch infection while it continues to heal. That also helps pull the edges together and quite often when you use cayenne to take in and uh, stop the bleeding and, and uh, sanitize it, um, if you pull the edges together really well you won't even see a scar when it's done. I've cut my hands and done quite a few things and there were never scars. My husband, uh, several years back, he was uh, playing tile, uh, retiling our upstairs bathroom, the master bath, and he was cutting through the Duroc with the cement board that goes under the tile and the knife slipped and he sliced open his thumb muscle. Um, it, it slipped out, it came through the thumbnail, popped out, and then came back in with the forward thrust and laid his thumb muscle open. Um, there was blood coming out everywhere. Uh, he came to me and he had it wrapped in a towel. And um, I opened up a jar of uh, cayenne tincture and just tur took a turkey baster and pulled out some and just irrigated it with that and within seconds it was just two pieces of raw meat open with no more blood coming out. Then I took a bandage and I just cinched it together as tight as I could and closed it. Um, it sealed, by the next morning it was pretty well sealed shut. There was still just a little bleeding at the very end of it where I used a little more cayenne to um, help stop that. Uh, that was Thursday night. On Monday, when everyone came back to work, uh, it was he wasn't even wearing the bandage on it anymore. It had completely sealed shut, and um, it was it was usable. The thumbnail did have to grow out because he sliced through his thumbnail. That was the longest part in healing because the thumbnail had to completely grow out again to be whole. The um, 
only leftover from it is a small scar on the very top of his thumb muscle where I could not get the bandage to hold together. The thumb muscle was heavy and it kept pulling apart a little bit. So he's got just a tiny little scar on the top, but where I was able to cinch it well, there's not even a scar uh, to show what he had done to himself. The thumb healed completely with absolutely no infection and no issues. Um, I think it was like three or four months after the accident, he was sitting in his office chair and he grabbed his hand and just, ah! And what I believe happened was that was the nerve coming back together. It takes time for the nerves to regrow and to join up and he had sliced through a nerve and that was the nerve and electrical shock when it joined back together and his thumb is just fine. If I believe if we had gone into the emergency room with that, they would have done layers of stitching and he very likely would have lost the use of that thumb. Where using this, it just healed very naturally. The body just knitted itself back together and um, he has no issues with his thumb today. Uh, there was also no infection, no issues that came up from infection or um, any uh, side issues from the injury healing. It was excellent. That is the value of cayenne used topically. It can be poured into a serious wound and in cases of gunshot or um, stabbing wounds where they're very deep, you then do need to go to the hospital and have it sewed up, stitched up, you know, get the bullet out, whatever. But quite often just pouring the cayenne in will stop the internal bleeding and give you a chance to get to the hospital and have the person um, stitched up so that they don't end up bleeding.